Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes. I tried out that um you know that anime about fat elf, you know, Elfuda. Elfuda. Yes, her. Um <laughs> plus size elf. It, it did not disappoint. Now I'm checking out the other video. This, this I, I reacted to his to his first iteration of this video. They made an anime for Jamaican men, but now they made an anime for the Caribbean man, them, you know? The Caribbean men. <laughs> yes. So, let's get this, people. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe. If you're new, share the video. You know, I want a lot more people to see this. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate you. Also, share the video. Check out the socials. You know, it's Wolf. And let's get this. You know, let's get this. Yeah. Because she's sitting here arched up like the Loch Ness Monster. Like that infamous image that you see all the time. This is her. And it's real. <laughs> the monster is real. <laughs> the what? Um, what? <laughs> and it's real. <laughs> the monster is real. Okay. Um, fair warning. Spoilers ahead. I've only watched episode one. <laughs> I've only watched episode one, so um, this is new territory for me and you. So let's continue. Um, Wagwan. <laughs> Let me Wagwan. speed this up yeah, just so a little bit. I watched episode one, and I thought it was a good time. People seem to think it was a good time, so I was like, I'm going to watch episode two. And I think in this video, I'm going to have episode two and three, but episode three is not out yet, so I don't even know what's to come, but I don't know mm. if I can handle any more of this. This is scary, because okay. first episode, we were introduced to Alfuda. She was yeah. the main topic in yeah. episode two. It's mainly our uh, melanated mistress. Yeah, yeah, man. Corodia. Coro yeah. Corrosive, I don't know. We start this episode off in a very good way. And she's, so, I uh, guess, witch Kuro of some sorts. Me, I guess Scarlet me, Witch. Me but I think the appropriate day for her would be like a Violet Vixen. <laughs> or something. This is, this is a rambunctious, robust, rotund, yeah. weird thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the thing with me, when I'm looking at stuff like this, the only thing that I could really think of spewing out of my mouth are big words to describe these big attributes yes. about these big bumba clots. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she's chanting though. I don't know if she's trying to summon me actually into this world. That's what it seemed like by what she's wearing because if you look at her garment, she's leaking out of these things. Like yeah. clean up on aisle six. And I'm gonna credit <laughs> one of my friends. He says that shit all the time. That's not my joke. And she spawns in a little build a bear size what? minion in from the other world. And that, and I think that's what it was. Cause when I woke up the day after this episode dropped, I felt like I was forgetting some things. So maybe like the process of like my mind transfer into this Chucky doll was like halfway kind of, like I don't know like my memory just felt hazy and I had like a weird dream so maybe that's what this was but unfortunately her bodaciosity is so nonsensical that she ripped the bottom part of her $60 Victoria's Secret set and um, before we get into the episode we're introduced to the um they show us the opening for the first time the opening of the show and I was planning on doing an opening tournament I don't care what's in that tournament Mashal, Oshinoko, the new bleach shit this is winning I'm just gonna say it now this will be the victor and not because of the music by the way and I think we all know this I don't have to explain myself it's it's not gonna be because of the music I just want to like build a good rapport with the show so maybe when Kuroda is casting more of these spells and trying to like summon some shit like a summoning circle just spawns under me one day and boom I'm here for some reason and I think I'll yo this dude is fiending bro this dude is gooning and he, he he just saying all of that calmly, you know, calmly into the mic. He he really letting out the, the, the degenerate, you know. He letting out his inner, yeah, the Caribbean, uh, Jamaican man for the fatty them, you know. <laughs> but uh, as as I said previously in the, in the previous one, yeah, we, we, we take him in all shapes and sizes, you know. So we don't discriminate on, on, on your figure. It's just that some might prefer a smallness or some might prefer the bigness but yeah all these all these ladies are gonna get the, the loving you know <laughs> but no no don't let me stop it too much because this dude is this dude is a is a is a whole problem a whole situation because i mean i know why you might be a go and say no you have to be so like overall so intense and passionate in the way he speaks <laughs> be the best solution for them because tomato is not getting his job done and i'm gonna get to him like he's doing what he's supposed to do in the realm of physical therapy sure but if i was in this world they'd have to hunt me down and put me on america's most wanted list for malpractice because he's shopping in the store El that comes in what's she buying fries and that's what you get bro you see um you see because i'm a i'm a i'm not a stranger to actually 
the itchy anime. I I know the tropes. These females are going to be presented in these situations, and the main character is going to be such a. I'm not gonna curse. Well, such a a weak, such a um, such a such a waste, man. <laughs> and not and not capitalizing on the situation I'm telling you not capitalizing on the situation when the situation is mutually welcoming like she's in a, she's in on it and and she's game he might not want to be on it but then he going to say no I must I must restrain myself I must refrain from this but yeah <laughs> The, you know that that honorable dude and stuff. You, he ain't he ain't tapping into that inner degenerate. That 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 dog. Okay, let's go. I don't know why they have fries and hash browns next to the cigarettes. Once Alfuda comes in, I guess her and Kuroda are from different gangs, and she's a dark elf. So this is basically, in human terms, a battle between the snow bunnies and the beautiful black queens. So not only do they have to spawn me with the show, Dr. Umar has got to find his way in here somehow because this could get ugly. They eventually settle down. Tomato explains what's going on and explains like how he knows Alfuda and how he helps her out in terms of body shaping. That's what he calls his job. So, I mean, see, this is what I'm saying. He thinks he's slick. Very, mm-hmm. like, particular names we're using, body shaping. Mm-hmm. That just seems like the title a horny nigga would roam the streets using. <laughs> Kuroda's run into an issue, actually. Yes. And this is- he not tapping to his inner horniness. <laughs> he not tapping into that. But I was saying why I would be arrested for malpractice. And she's yeah. basically explaining oh. what she's got going on as she transforms to kind of show him her predicament. Yeah, we have an issue. Big one, actually. <laughs> we have a massive bomber clat issue. <laughs> This is what I was saying. Earlier, how I may or may not. Matele say you need to take a trip to the islands, brother. Learn how to channel the Jamaican accent, the Jamaican way in your blood, you know. Not be the guy to handle this job for her specifically, because in order for her to cast a spell, the clothing and the garments that they provide her with, like she has to be a certain size to uh, produce <laughs> meaningful and powerful spells. And I guess every time she transforms back into this form, the problem is she keeps busting out of this shit. And I can't even know. She's I can't. busted out of that. <laughs> oh, God. See, I don't know if y'all boy do this. Me don't know if y'all do this. <laughs> yeah. With the King's Hawaiian rolls, you have to like warm them and bake them actually and butter them up. And we get a shot from the floor. Cameraman did immaculate with this one, by the way. He was like on his shit. He's on his shit with a lot of shows. Cameraman the goat. That's works. The way this shit is formed right now, this looks like a six to eight pack of these King Hawaiian rolls that have been mm. like crushed at the bottom of the shopping cart. So that's why there's that unevenness there. Ah, I got uh. my family from generations ago actually really, they're talking to me with this one. They're talking to me with Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking to me with her. And I think it's the melanin. The melanin voluptuosity is just a vicious mixture. Voluptuosity. Like I'm looking at this. <laughs> I am not. I, I want to start like screaming. Voluptuosity. What the? Yo, yo, hit him with a scream. Ah. Yeah, I I I I I keep seeing that short, you know. But yeah, I understand the reference. <laughs> but crazy voluptuosity, nah. That that word, I need to find that that the lexicon that 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 word existing, you know. <laughs> I just want to start screaming, and I know with like Alfuda, I was like talking crazy, but Kudasai, whatever her name is, if she asked me to commit a crime, I'm committing it, and that's just off of impulse. That's Kudasai means oh, what? Yeah, uh, um, yo, I don't remember what Kudasai means, but that that's not what her name is. I have to really like ground myself here and uh, get my faculties straight because, yeah. you know, see, it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, it's no. just making me sweat. I'm sweating bullets. I'm hyperventilated. I don't even know what to do, bro. <laughs> and I'm looking at the show rating, too, and it's still 4.1. I don't know what you niggas are thinking. I'm going to be honest. This, if anything, this is a 4.1 magnitude earthquake. Maybe, yeah. And that's on the lower end of shit. Once her <laughs> starts moving on its own and busts through the string, that's at least a 7.8. This is catastrophic yeah. earthquake tsunami levels of act. But, um, yeah, so this is what I was saying. Because she's having an issue saying that she wants Tomato to use his powers to help her kind of sculpt her body to make her mm-hmm. body a lot smaller and i would have done the opposite i would have scammed her straight up that shit would have doubled in size by the time we're done because if she had <laughs> enough mana to bring me into this world thinking about it i don't want her to take me out of it so i need to do everything in my power to prevent her from casting any more spells but no so he starts giving her the whole routine calf raises massaging her ankles has her squatting at work and she's hitting them <laughs> she's actually hitting them and she ripped oh my goodness there's so much junk in the trunk that she ripped through the american eagles and then her and alfuda start going out about 
why her butt's so big, why Alfuda's stomach is so big, and I'm just like, why don't we love each other? And that's what Tomato said. I mean, like, he tries sneaking himself in here like he's some innocent novice. You know, ladies, some men are surprisingly into plus size girls, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. I'm one of them. I'm not saying that, like, I have a crush on any of you at all. That's not what I'm saying. But Kuroda, like, for example, you take one more step closer to me as you're doing those squats, this cashmere sweater is coming off. And this shit is. <laughs> that is a. No, yo. That sounded that 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 vaguely sounds like a threat right there, yo. He, hmm. are you just telling him that what's gonna happen as a consequence of their actions? But hey, yo, this dude is getting too active. It's one fifty. Oh, you know, he Alfuda, acting no, I love that stuff. He acting no. Happen, that shit. And then I guess Alfuda and Kuroda are kind of disgusted by it almost because Alfuda says they like shining dark meat buns. Almost mm -hmm. seems racist. <laughs> And then Kuroda says they're into bloated frog stomachs. Yeah, man. The gal finally get it, you know? <laughs> and I just want to interject really quick. I saw comments in the video talking about how my how my Jamaican accent was scuffed. And the reason yes. behind that is like, as I was saying, I had that other half in me. So it's sort of like conflicting sides. And sometimes the articulation comes out weird. <laughs> but, you know, after... Oh, yes. So so he, he knows that. He knows that his accent is not... Is, the, to, is less than to be desired. But it's not, it's not because you're half... It's because you were raised not in Jamaica, you know. That that's that that's that the reason why. That is the reason why. So we, I, I understand this. He starts working with Vivi. She gets a bit more snatched, you know. Mm -hmm. And she uh starts spawning in more employees and stuff, and it's crazy because I'm actually well versed in like grocery store operations because I did work in one for like ten years. So <laughs> whenever she needs me, I'm available. But yeah. we then find Cece from Code Geass, and I guess she's just been eating her oats. She's about to rip through her Levi's as well. And I guess, according to Alfuda, this girl is like a humanoid plant who, with more sunlight, gets more bodacious. And then I guess he figures out a way to allow her to like slim down a little bit and protect herself from the sunlight. Very simple, actually, an umbrella. Um, but in the mix of all this, he flaked on the director again. What the fuck is his problem? This uh, uh, a freaking black, a dark umbrella. She's a dryad. She's a dryad. That's the species. Uh, uh, yeah, she's a she's a she's a species of uh, forest dwelling um, magical creature. So yeah, but this she gets more plump when than the, when she's out in the sun, bro. She get that. Oh my god. What I'm saying, he's like he's losing the opportunity of a lifetime, opportunity yeah. of a lifetime. But um, yes. no, his yes, conclusion was she has bad posture, so he did some research on some Fifty Shades of Grey shit and brought out a contraption that looks like it would be used for the bedroom. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is like three strikes are fucking out. I'm telling you the plot twist, we're going to be 17 elves deep. They're all going to be introduced and he's going to be on some rudiest shit. But this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> out in broad daylight. Like the there's, something, there's something going on. <laughs> I had you wear this on the outside to so remember the steps on how to wear it. Like what type of reasoning is that? What's he even saying? We're out in Tokyo's busiest intersection right now and you have me putting on a fucking 50 shades of gray fit on right now. Yeah. This is 50 shades of horny. And then he gives it a fucking a bondage type get up, bro. <laughs> but it might actually. Well, I, I don't. I, I don't know. This anime is rated eighteen plus, you know. So I'm not sure if they was trying to be crafty, you know. I'm not sure. But yeah, it does look like the bondage stuff. But I can give him the benefit of the doubt and say that it's for her posture an umbrella and she gives him two tickets to the hot spring and then i guess there's rumors about this hot spring that in the nighttime and oni appears there and that oni just happens to be the wife of a baki character and we see a small <laughs> snippet of her chest area and those things do not hold milk i can assure you that right now those shits are holding pre-workout and bang energy but i'm assuming she's gonna be the focus of next episode and i don't know if i'll be here for it and if this video has any more time to it then i probably am here for it you know i just finished watching episode three i'm done with this show I'm calling it a quiz. I'm done. I don't even know why I didn't think we were going into hot spring territory after episode two. I think I was just so like discombobulated after seeing Kuroda in like her magician's attire. We start yeah. this episode off. Elfu just walking around the hot spring or the spa, whatever you want to call it. Kangaroo pouch in front. And I like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I like, you know, I like that. And I was just about done a minute and 40 seconds in because, you know, I had to let the opening go. Um, When Kuroda was sitting here, I don't know why the bath water is brown like this. I'm going to blame it on the build a bear ass nigga. And I'm sure he's like stinking. His it doesn't even matter what the fuck's in this murky water because she's sitting here arched up like the Loch Ness Monster. Like that infamous image that you see all the time. Yeah. This is her. And it's real. Oh, <laughs> the real. Yes. <laughs> it is big and dangerous. You know, and in this episode, they don't even care. Like yeah. we're getting like sneak peeks, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was out of this place. <laughs> and we're showing all of like the stats of both yeah. Alfuda and Kuroda's building. I don't even want to I didn't want to get out the protractor. I didn't want to get out my geometrical tools, but 
I just may very well have to. <laughs> yeah, it's a scientific calculator. I'm not turning that down, but <laughs> I'm looking at Kuroda, and she's built like an uppercase cursive S. It just makes sense. It makes sense. Right. Just trust me. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> My bottom lip is quivering. I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm really... <laughs> And um, so her and Alfuda go into the actual sauna part of the hot spring or whatever. I don't even know where the fuck we're at, to be honest. And yeah, it's a sauna. Oga, who is the rumored ogre that was taking up space in the sauna. And I was saying, I don't know how to feel about her because I like her voice. <laughs> I like the way she's talking. Um, She's confusing me a lot right now. Yeah, nah, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get over what the fuck Kuroda's got going on. I'm going like, there are going to be dreams had about this. Yeah. Like, this is monument. <laughs> this is a monument. <laughs> this, is, this is just something um for the history books, honestly. And this episode, was really it just kept getting like not not worse in a bad way you know it just kept getting worse though because they're sitting down on the bench that shit's too hot for them and then they're face down on the floor i don't even want to like Ass describe stuff. what's going on they uh, they tuned it up bro but dang yo this is the enemy for the horny niggas bro the horny niggas and um and um <laughs> this is right up there with the interspecies reviewers type ish bro but not as close because you know inter interspecies reviewers cross that line where you know other etchy anime don't want to cross um because i think i'm going to get taken down <laughs> and olga's just taking this heat like a fucking titan and um i'm looking at this shot and this is just three natural disasters in this room Ooh. i was saying that kuroda had like a tsunami earthquake and fucking catastrophe attached to her name olga is a fucking category five <laughs> olga is a category five hurricane and elsewhere yeah. is a volcanic eruption like i don't even know how do you even survive this <laughs> i'm not surviving a night with all three of them so i don't nah. like i don't even know if i got one in me i'm gonna be honest Death by snow, snow, bro. Death by snow, snow, right there. <laughs> you ever watch that F Futurama episode, bro? You you know what I'm talking about. Girls gonna be walking out with like and swinging their hips and everything after they done. They after they done, and another one comes in. You know, definitely not Olga. She'd kill me. If me and her went in the bedroom together, she'd start benching me or something. But either way, like, I like the way she speaks again. So I don't, like, what does she want me to do here? And I'm like, it's just something about Corota and her golden brown. Like, see, you could tell she uses that Vaseline lotion, Coco Radiant. And you could just tell, like, look at, you could just tell looking at her. I don't know if she's special, but I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling very melodic right now. So I'm going to have to hop on another one. Ugh. No, no. The last one, the last one was horrible, my G. No, you are not built for this, my brother. No, I am going to give you some, some, some genuine advice right here, bro. Let me, let me even, let me even change your view at this scene, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't try it. I'm going to listen to it, and if it, and if it's horrible, I'm going to spare you guys from uh, the trauma. So let's see how this plays out. <laughs> here goes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. People, that was so unbearable. That was so, that was so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, that that made it. That made me want to end the video right there. That made me didn't want to watch any further, man. Yo, I, yo, I am, I, I am glad. I cut, I decided beforehand that I was gonna cut cut this out if it was garbage and it was trash, bro. It was trash. People. The, the the word the, the Jamaican cuss word bumbo cloud. I shouldn't be saying it, but I'm just saying it for uh, for 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 to to give um to give context. You don't just throw the word around. You use it as an exclamation, <laughs> yeah. and um not necessarily as how he did as at the start of the song. Where it didn't make any sense, you know. He just used the word to use the word because it's a Jamaican curse word, you know. It doesn't make sense and it's kind of jarring. But I'll spare you guys from that from that whole experience because I don't want you guys to go through to that. If you want to see it, the link is in the description. So if you decide to go and look at that by yourself on your own, don't blame me. So let's continue. My meter was just like getting too high of excitement, so I had to like expel some energy there. But no, I mean the rest of this episode is really just them 
chopping it up in the sauna. And then Alfuda challenges Olga, who's been sitting in the sauna for about five weeks now, and to uh, see who can sit in there the longest and then lose her guys' dinner. <laughs> and dinner for Olga is just alcohol and pre-workout. Alfuda loses in about 10 seconds. Hey, yes. what's, with all the, what's with all the commotion? What's going on, girl? She she told me she was buying me french fries and now she's drinking alcohol. I just don't know what to do, nigga. I'm hungry. And uh, wait, pardon me. Who, who is this bad gal? <laughs> uh, who, Alfuda, who is this? I, I'm not... Pleasure like, to meet you. Yeah, man, that the bad man. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah, no, and after that interaction, really nothing else happened after that. We just meet a fisherman from Fishman Island who <laughs> sells fish and consumes Old Bay to keep herself out of her mermaid form. But no, so that's about it. And it's like, there comes a point where it's like, I'm not even surprised at what I'm looking at anymore. And I'm just sort of marveling at it. Yeah. You know, and especially Corona. <laughs> and don't get me wrong again, Alfuda, she's like right there. But there's, again, there's just something about like that uppercase cursive S build that's like Hall of Fame tier. And with the mole under the eye, I mean, that's that's just the finishing blow right there. There's nothing you can do about that. But um, no, so that was fun. This was, it, I enjoyed the video. Yeah, his humor is kind of, kind of okay, you know. And, you know, <laughs> the anime is good. Bro. The anime is good enough. And at the end, he was kind of talking about he might make another video when, like, the, the series has concluded because, uh, um one episode that hasn't got any, much to talk about but yeah that might be a, 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 a freaking 40 minute video so yeah you know but guys that aside thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed it let me know let me know what you think of the the elf anime you know because <laughs> that's crazy you know <laughs> yeah we, we it's in you know, a lot more is in store for that anime and if you guys are new to the channel, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribed, you know. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, you know, if you're already subscribed. Thank you. So, with that, peace out, Itekimasu. Let's get this, let's get this, you know, it's Wolf Data People.